Let me show you how to create interactive rollover buttons in Adobe InDesign. In this tutorial, I'll go over a simple method to create buttons with rollover and roll off events and apply actions to show and hide a pop-up window. As a final step, we'll export the project as an interactive PDF and test out the buttons in Adobe Acrobat. Let's jump in and start creating. On my screen, I'm working on a page from a portfolio presentation, and the concept here is I'd like to hover over each one of these info icons to trigger the corresponding pop-up, which consists of the text frame as well as the shape background. Now to understand this better, I've opened up my layers panel, and you can see here I have a layer called info buttons and captions. If I expand this, I have a series of layers or sub layers. Here I have four info buttons, which are the information icons you see in the upper left hand corner of each tile. And I have four captions, which are the pop-up windows. Now for this example, we'll need to use the buttons and forms panel. And to access that, go up to window, interactive and buttons and forms. You can see I already have mine docked. So I'm just gonna tear it off and place it close to the area that I'll be working on. So first things first, I'm gonna click on the first caption and we're gonna convert this grouped content into a button. We're going to name this button caption button one. Press return or enter on your keyboard to finalize the naming convention. And the other thing we wanna do here is click hidden until triggered. So we don't want this to appear when the page loads until we hover over the info icon. Now that I have the first caption button set up, I'm going to click on the first info button icon. And I'm also going to convert this into a button. I'm going to select the name and rename this info button one. Press return or enter. And we're going to change the event so 99% of the time I am probably using on release or tap, but if this is a document or a project you know that will be primarily viewed on a desktop computer, then a good way of sprucing up an interactive PDF is choosing the on rollover event. We're gonna add an action of show hide buttons and forms. And you can see in the visibility section, I have the option of showing caption button one when a user or viewer hovers over that icon. We'll leave the info button one visibility on X, which means it'll be ignored. We don't wanna show or hide the info icons. Once you have the on rollover event set, let's go back to the event dropdown and choose on roll off. And let's do the same thing. Let's click the plus icon to add an action of show hide buttons and forms. And in this case, we're going to hide caption button one, meaning when the viewer or user rolls off that info icon, the pop-up window will disappear. Now we can test this out. If I click on the preview icon, that'll open up the EPUB preview window. And if I click the play button, you can see that the first pop-up window does not appear when the page loads. And if I hover over it, you can see that the pop-up window appears. And if I roll off, it goes away. Great, let's set up the second one. I'm just gonna move buttons and forms off to the right side here. And we're going to do the same thing. Let's click the grouped content, which consists of the caption and the rectangle shape. And we're simply making this a button. And we're going to rename the button caption button two. Press return or enter to finalize the naming convention. And that's all we have to do in this case. This is just setting up the show hide buttons and forms. We don't have to add an action. However, we are going to click hidden until triggered. That's important because it will not appear when the page loads. Now we can move on to our second info icon. Go ahead and click that. And we're going to convert that object into a button. Now let's go ahead and rename this button info button two. Let's change the event to on rollover and add an action of show hide buttons and forms. And we're gonna show caption button two. Let's go back to the event dropdown and choose on roll off. Add another action of show hide buttons and forms. And in this case, we're going to hide caption button two. 
I'm going to set up the other two tiles and then we're going to export this as an interactive PDF and test it out in Adobe Acrobat. I've gone ahead and set up the two other rollover buttons. Now we can export this and test it out in Adobe Acrobat. Let's make our way up to File and choose Export. Choose the folder that you want to save the PDF to and ensure that you choose Adobe PDF Interactive. Go ahead and click Save. You can leave all the default settings as is. One thing I like to check is under compression, ensure that you have a high resolution for your images. Once you're happy with your image setting, go ahead and click Export. And now we can jump over to Acrobat to test out the buttons. I've opened the project in Adobe Acrobat Pro and I'd like to test out the rollover and roll off buttons now. I'll roll over the first and you can see that the caption and the entire pop-up window appear and I'll roll off and you can see it disappears. Let's do the same for the second, roll over, roll off, the third one, roll over, roll off, and finally the last one, roll over and roll off. And you can see those are working great. That's a quick and easy way of creating interactive rollover buttons in Adobe InDesign. If you found this video helpful, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks just like this one. If you'd like to learn more about interactive PDFs using Adobe InDesign, then check out the video above. Until next time, take care and keep creating.